The Boss 200 series represents a wide range of great sounding effects, class leading sound quality and intuitive controls. Premium audio quality thanks to 32-bit ADDA, 32-bit internal processing and 96K sample rate. You can store four different memories for instant recall plus a manual mode which is how the knobs are currently set plus lots of expandability via external foot switches, expression pedals, and even TRS MIDI in and out. The DD200 is a stereo digital delay with 12 different delay modes. These include crystal clear digital delays, vintage tapes, drum, immersive ambient delays, and terror echo. All the essentials are there, plus some really creative and fun modes to experiment with, including a looper. The controls will be very familiar if you've used a delay pedal before, and for each delay mode, the parameter knob controls a specific parameter. For example, on the tape mode, it controls how many tape heads are active, or how gritty your analog delay is. For this example, I'm using the standard delay mode, which gives us that classic, clean, digital delay sound. By using the parameter knob, I can actually affect the attack time of the delay, so it allows me to have a softer attack, making more pad-like delay repeats. Now I want to show you the drum delay mode. It's that very distinctive rhythmic delay sound. And the parameter knob actually allows me to change the amount of heads that are being worked at one time. Now I want to show you the shimmer delay mode. Shim is great for adding a choral harmony to your guitar parts, and the parameter knob allows me to affect the intensity of that effect, whereas the modulation depth gives me control over the amount of movement in the delay repeats. This is without either of those engaged. Let's add the intensity and some modulation depth. Now I've moved on to the analog delay mode. What's cool about this is I can use the parameter knob to essentially change the type of harmonic content within the delay repeats, giving me some really nice rich overtones in the repeats. On top of that, I've changed the tap division to a quarter note triplet, so I can tap in some really cool rhythms uh, with the push of a button. Now if I turn the parameter knob up, I can get some harmonic feedback. In this instance, I've got the Terra Echo mode and I've decided to plug an expression pedal in to control the feedback intensity of the effect. Obviously the cool thing about having an expression pedal is it can control things like the effect level, feedback, time, modulation depth and so on. It's a really handy extra tool to use with a pedal like this. What I want to show you now is the carryover feature in DD200. 
I've plugged an external FS7 foot switch that allows me to toggle between two different memories. But what's really cool here is you get a lovely smooth transition between the two delay modes at the same time. Out of the box, it's a very standard kind of setup, but you can easily customise what the foot switches do. For example, I can reprogram the on and off switch to be momentary, or fade a delay in and out rather than a sharp start and stop. You can add loads more control over DD200 by adding external foot switches, expression pedal, or even TRS MIDI in and out. As well as using MIDI to tempo sync, you can control a host of different parameters in real time via MIDI, especially when teamed up with an effect switcher such as an ES5 or an ES8. If you're not familiar with this type of MIDI port, you'll definitely be seeing more of it soon. It's a 3.5mm connection, like a headphone cable, but it works exactly the same way as a standard MIDI connection with a cable like this. You can even use a simple cable like this to control multiple 200 series pedals. Very simple to use, yet very sophisticated. Go to boss.info to find out more.